away. And what is the throne of heaven? Read on. And his wheels as burning fire. And what is the wheel of the chariot? Now let's go to another scripture giving the description of the supreme being again that the man was a dark skin. We got with skin color. Give me Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 1. Ezekiel 8, verse 1. Okay? Because people, they get so uh, frantic when he's trying to show them that it's God himself and the supreme being and the Hispanic and the blacks are the original Jews. They get mad at you. They get mad against, oh, when you, when you talk about color. So color does matter in America. Because when you go to get a job, the first thing they ask you, what's your race? What the hell have they to do with me getting a job? So color in America does matter. Okay? That's what they ask you. If you're African American, you know what I put down? I'm a Jew, straight up. I'm a damn Jew. And they, when, when, when they say others, I put a Jew. I don't put no African American, because I'm not African Americans. I'm not no Africans. I'm a former child of Benjamins. I'm a so-called West Indies, okay? So when they put um, other, for others, I put down a Jew, okay? Read. The book of Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 1. Right. And it came to pass right. in the sixth year, mm -hmm. in the sixth month. In, in the sixth month, right? So the sixth month would be known today as what? As August. Because September is a light word meaning the seventh month. It's, the new year is not January. You got a lot of, it was, it, it was a Julius Caesar is the one that declared January the new year. Okay? Read. In the fifth day of the month, right. as I sat in my house, right. and the elders of Judah sat before me, right. uh -huh. that the hand of the Lord, the Most High, fell there upon me. See, but the hands of God fell there upon me. Let's see what color God hands it. Read. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire. Because the Bible said God is a pure fire. Read on. From the appearance of his loins, uh -huh. even right. downward. Right. Fire, and from his loins, even upward. Right. As the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber. As the color of amber. What color is amber? Dark brown. Amber represents dark brown. You could, you could, if you go to any store that sell like, like, um, what is store that sell them, them, them thing like, um, different um, pictures like, uh, like it's like, it's like they're like solid steel. I can't remember what they call it, but they got amber. They got different. They got like coin. I can't remember what store they call those, but you could see dark amber. Amber from the Greek word means brown. Brown. Look at that word, amber. So we mean brown. Okay, that's the color of the supreme being. So even uh, okay. uh, 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 even as uh, they go to cosmetic stores for females, but it says amber. You see how they use the brown woman to box right. brown. Exactly. You know, you know that's that's yep. the color. Exactly. You know. But uh, the, 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 um, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Look, it, it, lipstick. Yeah. You know, and all that stuff, man. Right. You know, it, exactly. they call it brown. Yep. You know, brown skin people. Because um, my cell phone is black. This is this is black right here. I'm brown. It's not. They, they, I've never seen human being looking like this. <laughs> Show me one human being looking like my jack, this brother's jacket. You know what I'm saying, brother? They know such thing as Hispanic. I mean, what, you know, you know one thing with a white man. When the white man come to conquer the land, he makes sure he cultivates you. Another word, he change your whole thinking into another dimension. He makes it. No, you ask if I'm a Puerto Rican or the Mexican or Dominican. What's your nationality? I'm Mexican. Yo, I'm not asking you what country you're from. I ask you what's your nationality. Well, I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican is not a nationality. Oh, oh I'm Latino. Latino is not a nationality. Oh, oh, I'm, but, uh, I'm, I'm uh, Hispanic. That's not a nationality. But so the white, the white men label them, and just like Jamaican, the same thing. What's your nationality? What part? Oh, I'm Jamaican. That's not a nationality. Oh, I'm West Indian. That's not a nationality. So he, the white man makes everybody so confusing that they now know their, their history, man. Give me um, Jeremiah. Um, uh, is it, um, uh, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Remember when Moses said, Confuse the faces? No, Daniel, right? Daniel? That's uh, not, it's a huh? Confusion of faces. Oh, yeah, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, yeah, confusion of faces. But remember that, uh, the ninth chapter, verse, seven. um, huh? Nine and seven. Nine and seven, Twitter. Okay. See? Daniel 9 and 7. Confusion of faces. All people are confused. They don't even know the history. They don't know the nationality. You call your nationality by a country you're born? No. Then suppose our uh, uh, suppose our uh, Puerto Rico change the name them. You got to another name. You got they got to call yourself by the no. Your nationality declare who your father is. That's why you tell. That's why you take on your father last name. Right, Dorsky, right, right. Like I'll be, remember Albizo Campos, right? Albizo Campos was a lawyer and politician of Puerto Rico, and his was the dark. He was dark skin. Taino Indian and his mother rejected him because he was too dark. His father was, was a dark skinned Taino and his mother, because he came out dark like his father, his father rejected him. Mother rejected him. His mother was a European, Spanish. Okay? So Albiza Campos, tell us straight up, his, his ancestors are from the lost tribe. I got books on that. 
There's a book out there called War Against All Puerto Ricans. It's a very good book to read, brother. War Against All Puerto Ricans showing you how when the white men came to Puerto Rico, America bombed the hell out of Puerto Rico. That's what the very purpose America used Puerto Rico, uh, make Puerto Rico become a Commonwealth country along with Hawaii because America using um use a Puerto Rico as a bomb target. Vieques. Vieques, cut. You see what I'm saying? And and you know they bought out um huh? Right. And uh, right now a lot of Puerto Rican women are getting um, breast cancer because a lot is they get affect the effectness from the radiation, the cancer from the radiation. It's still in uh, in uh, Vieques, like the brother said. You see? So it, it's very sad, you know what I mean? But these are the things the Europeans are doing to us, man, because they know who we are. The greatest thing the white men, black, white people hiding from black people is that you are the real Jews. They always tell me, like, yeah. they say, they say, don't trust the white man. Hmm? Brother always used to tell me, don't trust the white man. You cannot, you can't, you never trust, the Bible says, said, never take trust your enemies. Take yeah. You have, yep. The sessions are fake. Mm -hmm. the yeah, they take everything from you. When they come to destroy your land, man, they take even the damn woman jaws of them, man. That's how, that's that's how the white men is, man. They will take your, your woman jaws off because that's how them European is. They very white people, are very arrogant people, man. That's why a lot of Americans they have the spirit of the white man because they, they got white people are very arrogant people when it comes to the truth and they're very ignorant, especially Italian. They're very ignorant. Right. And they want you to, to, to live down. Well, above their knees. Yeah. Above, below, below their knees. Yeah, to them exactly. Nature, yeah. Powerful. Right. Exactly. See, because, they, because they, you know, everything the white men have, they stole, brother. The yeah. Bible said the thief come not but to steal and to destroy. You see? It's twofold. It's talking about spiritually destroy you, steal you, pull you away from Christ. And it's talking about how the, you are, or people come and steal away from, take your land. Your women, your resource, the money, your finance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your land, everything from you. Same thing the white men be doing back in the days. They do the same thing today. The great the Romans stole Israel from blacks. You see what I'm saying? We don't belong to no religion. We don't belong to no church. But today right. I pray in my house. Mm. I pray to God and my own time. Right. I don't need to go to church and need to go right. to church. Right. But, but you know, you know that's 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 that's, that's their nature, you know. They, they have a very privileged spirit. Right. They believe that they're privileged. Everything right. should be handed to them easily, mm -hmm. and everyone should be under their feet. Right. They won't admit it. Right. But in their spirit, they think they're superior to everybody. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You're right. All, all they, all they money. Yeah. You're right. They 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 thieves, man. And, and, and you know what, happened, brother? They don't they don't want for you to have. If you try to bring out the, 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 your, 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 your whole history about yourself, they got to find other ways to make sure you don't know, you, no, you, you, you don't know your, what you're talking about. They will go on TV, bring out some kind of, some, like, like we mentioned earlier about Edward the Black Prince. The, the men, they, they, they got books out there saying the reason why I call a Black Prince because we were in a black armor. That's a lie because majority of men, when Edward the Black Prince went up against um, King Philip VI of Spain, all his men have black armor. So why these men didn't call the black prince or, or um, the Edward the Black Prince? And uh, why all of them not call call the same um bring out the same history about his men wearing the black armor? See when you, when you when you know the true history about yourself, it gives you a sense of pride. Mm -hmm. It gives you a sense of pride that's been stripped yeah. away from you, yeah. and you start putting the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's very important. A lot of people want us to stay away from the white man and the subject of talking about the white man when we go into the Bible. But you can't, I mean, you could do that if you want, but the trip, you got to give the people the whole truth. That's it. The whole truth. Because today, the white men, uh, the so called blacks and Hispanics, their God is the white man. And what the white man has established, they look up to this man. You understand? So we have to destroy the lie that's in their minds. You understand? In the conditioning, we have to, uh, you know, take it apart in their mind and bring them to the reality that they're the great, they're the great people and the white man is actually beneath them. You understand? And a lot of people fear that. They want to go along to get along. Mm -hmm. And that's just not how life works. They go along to get along. And life just, just doesn't work that way. You have to establish the truth. You understand? These people have gone all over the world, ripped off, robbed, and stolen. We're not saying every white man has done that because every white man doesn't have the power. Every white woman don't have the power to go all, all over the world and rip off. But their top leaders and people of power have done that. And uh, the lower class white people have reaped the benefits of 
uh, the, the greatest thieves in the world and in history. So this has to be exposed and brought out. You understand? The so-called black man, he has become... What? That, um, my... Yeah. Yeah, of course, like, yeah, sorry. Like, can yeah, I say something real quick? Yeah, but it's like, Esau is so wicked as hell, and I'm just saying, like, even if I don't make it the first round to the kingdom, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I don't make the second round. I'm trying to make it the first round, you know, but it's how, I want this place to be destroyed. That's how bad this place is. Right. Because even in TV and movie, I watched this show called Supergirl, right? Got into comics and stuff like that. They're advocating, they're advocating two girls you know, lesbianism. Yeah, that's yeah. showing you that. Mm -hmm. It's advocating on TV and commercials. It's okay to be a homosexual. It's right. okay to be a lesbian. It's okay to be a transgender. You know, it's okay to do these things, to be these things. You know what I'm saying? But it's, what's against the most high? It's against right. the scriptures. Exactly. So America is tainted. It's tainted our children. Right. Because our children's getting confused. Right. It's like, it's okay to be, a, you know, deal with a boy, boy, and girl, girl. You know? So our children's place is poison, man. It's tainted yeah. our they're, Even the foreigners to come out here mm -hmm. and visit and live, they change their whole culture around. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. my dad was messing yeah. with a, a Japanese woman. She was bowing down to him and all that stuff. Now she's talking against him. Oh, well, you ain't going to see your son. And I'm like, man, she just got Americanized all of a sudden. <laughs> exactly what happened. You know, that, that's just what America do. Yeah, you know, yeah. America's like that. So yeah. so when we are foreign, and not just blacks, Hispanics, but other nations, when they come here, mm -hmm. yeah. even Muslims. But it's still oh, yes. Walk yeah. out, yeah. they cut their beards off. Yeah. You see when they cooth and they smoking. Yeah. They got to sell um, um, uh, hookers. Um, what do you call those things? Hook hookah. Hookers. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they stores. You know, so they got Americanized real quick. Got to see the land of opportunity. Right. So anybody comes here, they just definitely just America get Americanized yeah. Yeah. real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how I tell you how bad America is. Right. And not just destroying our people. But they go to other countries too. Oh, yeah. What is it, Gaddafi? Mm -hmm. What is it to um, um, Hussein? Mm -hmm. And they do it to other um, yeah. um, countries out there. Yeah. And to the public um, 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 puppets, puppets, man. Figureheads. That's true. You know? Mm -hmm. and, they, they, and they paid them so much money. They're like, yeah, we're getting paid, man. You yeah. know what? Yeah. Hey, let's just join. Yeah. You know? That's why we got to break that yoke yeah. off. That's why yeah. we got to break that, break that cycle, man. You know, now you got some brothers and sisters all waking up, even though they're still in the world, in the world, you know, and things like that. But you know, this, some some are waking up to know who they are. You know, yes. like I'm a real Jew. You know, and that's why that's why I think God Trump's in office. So, like I said before, like I said earlier, we, yeah, so he can wake up the people and be like, well, he ain't for us. You know, yep. he ain't for us. Mm -hmm. so he got kids choosing crime. This was in um, I think in um, in, um, in California. In some schools, children was going to school crying. Yeah, that's what I was just about to bring that up. It shows it shows just how weak, just how weak America has gotten. When you have kids crying and need puppies and cats to console them in school or at home because someone won an election, it's showing just how weak, uh, the, not just the white man, but our people have become. It shows. The changes that they're coming yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not, he's yeah. not, and like I said before, since he came in, um, since he became election, uh, um, um, elected president, you see, seeing more race tensions between whites and blacks, oh, yes. it's going at it, it's being more, and it's like, it's and not just New York, it's everywhere you go. And it's planned. The me the me the media is throwing the fuel in the fire. Yeah. The media is, is, uh, is, is, um, Fueling both sides, they they want a race war so they can declare martial law. Right. They want they want a racial war. They want this to, to collapse. You watch as time goes on, it's going to get worse and worse. And now and now Donald Trump, he's not even going on what he said. He's not indicting Hillary because he said it would be too divisive against the country. The wall thing. Now he's kind of tip tapping on that. He, can't, he won't be able to do that. You understand? Uh, 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 to to, to uh, make countries come back here. Even that's a problem now. You understand? He's doing the bare minimum right now. He's not going to be able to fulfill all those things because the rich banking famous who really run the show, they're not going to let that go down. They're not going to let that go down. You understand? Everything is just crazy now. You, you know, they have three... I heard that I was watching, listening to the talk radio, they have um, 33 genders of, of, of female, male now. You could be like, you could be a 
a male and a female. I don't know if I'm a male or female. Yeah, like 33 counts. It's just crazy. Everything is just confusion, like the like brother the, brought out earlier. Baskin and Robbins, 31 flavors. Right. Man, like, like. It could be any kind of sex you want now. Yeah. Anything you want. It's just, it's, it, America's become a freak show. Yeah, exactly. Who gave him that man won because he was, things had to be said in his 